What's up guys, it's Meaty Mike. Thanks for coming out. Today I'm smoking up a beef tongue. Mm, mm, mm. We got ourselves a cow tongue. We're gonna be doing a lot of licking. As you can see, I already have my tongue wrapped. That's because I pre-seasoned it and got it prepped last night. And I'll get to that in a second, but Cow tongue is really, really good, and I love organ meat, and I've done a few other things on my channel. I did a beef heart, smoked it up, charred it right off the grill. I did a whole pig head. You got the brains, the eyeballs, even did the tongue in a soup as well. And then I did the Rocky Mountain oysters, the testicles, the balls. Smoked those up really good, fried them up. They're really, really tasty. And the tongue, it is right up there with the rest of the organ meat. Very, very beefy. A lot of people shred it up, put it in tacos. I'm just smoking it and I'm gonna slice it up and eat it as is. It's gonna be prime. So like I said, this beef tongue is already prepped and ready to go into the smoker, but let me catch you up and show you what I did to get to this point. So I got my beef tongue frozen, and when you thaw it out, you're gonna notice that there's a thick layer of skin going all around the tongue. And we're gonna wanna get that off because it's tough, it's not gonna take on smoke, and it's not gonna taste really good. So to do that, we're gonna boil it for one hour. So get yourself a nice pot, fill it just enough to cover the tongue. You don't need to fill it all the way up. And to the pot, we're gonna add one cinnamon stick, the rinds from one whole orange, five bay leaves, six cloves of pressed garlic, one tablespoon of oregano, and one whole chopped sweet onion. Stir it up and bring it to a boil. Once it hits a boil, drop your tongue right in, cover it, and let it roll for one hour. So after an hour, take your tongue out of the pot. You're already gonna notice the skin is starting to pull back. We're gonna wanna let it cool down to about room temperature so it's easier to handle. So after your tongue cools down to room temperature, get yourself a knife. You might not even need it. The skin just pulls off. Just watch it pull right off. Pull off these strips of skin all around your tongue. Look at that. Mm -mm. Expose that meat and keep going until your tongue is completely cleared of all of the skin. And it will look something like that. Beautiful, we're ready to season it up. Get yourself some Dijon mustard. Rub it all over your tongue. Cover it the left side, the right side, the top side, the bottom side, all sides. So after you get your Dijon mustard on your tongue, get your choice of seasoning. I'm using some Rodeo Rub, a brisket seasoning from PS Seasoning. This is gonna be a really beefy cut. This rub is gonna go perfect on the tongue. Rub it on in. And after that, for good measure, I'm just gonna cover the tongue with some coarse black pepper. Get yourself some plastic wrap, wrap it on up. And it's ready to go into the fridge overnight. And here we are. After a poor wrap job, put it in a bag, took it out of the fridge, we're ready to go. Now we can unwrap our tongue, put it in the smoker. Oh yeah. Coming to Pappy. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a beautiful tongue and she is ready to go right in the smoker. So I'm gonna wipe my hands down and get her smoker ready. Pop her right on. So we're going with the Gorilla Grill Silverback. Get your pellets, using some Bear Mountain pellets. Can. Fill your hopper up. We're gonna set this to 200 degrees, 200. Open this up, get to temp, a nice low temperature to cook up our tongue. We're gonna cook it in the smoker for five hours. Nothing fancy, I'm not even going by temp, I'm going strictly by time. So we're gonna let our smoker get to temp and we'll pop it in. All right, we're at 200 degrees, get your tongue. I'm just laying it right on its side, just like that. Again, low and slow, 200 degrees, five hours. We're gonna get some good smoke flavor on our tongue. Stick around. All right, so we're about four hours and 45 minutes into the cook on our beef tongue. We're at the home stretch now. We're battling a little bit of rain, but that's okay. 
take a look at her tongue. Oh yeah. Look at that, getting some great color on this tongue. And we're gonna add to this tongue, the last 15 minutes, a little mixture, 50-50 molasses and balsamic vinegar. Give a nice little brush on our tongue as we finish off our cook. It's gonna be delicious. Stand the right side up. One more brush down. Close her up. 15 minutes to go, then we'll pull our tongue and eat. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, our beef tongue is complete. We have some great color on this tongue and I can't wait to eat it. But before we do, let's recap what we did to get our tongue smoked. The day before the smoke, we boiled up our tongue for one hour to get that skin off of our tongue. Seasoned up our tongue, rubbed it down with some Dijon mustard, some PS seasoning, rodeo rub, that brisket seasoning, and a little bit of coarse black pepper for good measure. We smoked the tongue for five hours at 200 degrees. Again, that last 15 minutes, we just painted up that tongue, a mixture of balsamic vinegar and molasses. Now, there ain't no more talking to do. We are cutting right in to our tongue and slicing it up. Again, the bottom here, a lot of good fat. You could have even cut this off before you even went and put your tongue in the smoker. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. Oh yeah. And just cut right into your tongue. We're slicing it right down. Oh yeah. Look at that, nice smoke ring, beautiful color to our tongue. We're not done yet, keep going. Got them good fatty pieces right towards the end there. Juices just pouring down. Come on, we gotta beat the rain. Beautiful, beautiful tongue, and now you gotta just take a taste. Mm-hmm. That's good tongue. Man, that is so good. Again, really nice smoke ring, good bold beefy flavor. If you don't like beef tongue or never had it, you are missing out. That molasses and balsamic adds a good note right at the end. That seasoning was perfect on this beef tongue. My God. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Man, again, this tongue is really good. Slice it up, put it on sandwiches, put it on crackers or cheese, whatever you got to do. You can put it in tacos, like I mentioned earlier. It is really, really good. If you never had a beef tongue before, a cow tongue, you should. You should definitely get one. Put it in your smoker. You're going to love it. Stay tuned for the next video. Boo!